G'day and hello beautiful people, it is Mumo here and I am back for some more Walking Dead Road to Survival. This video is all about your legendary tunes. that's right, the big six stars. I wanted to discuss not only the options I have available for ascending at the moment, but also the direction in which I'm heading when it comes to the six star characters. It's something I haven't really discussed yet on the channel. I will be ascending a six star at the end of this video. And you could probably guess who it will be. That's right, it will be the big man on the top there, and that is Negan. Now, I will be ascending him for his leader skill. And like I said, I'm someone with a very heavy green roster. So if you offer me up a leader skill that consists of 40% attack and 40% defense for all strong characters, I will jump at it every damn time. And that's what I pretty much did as soon as this guy came available. I don't really like spending money on this game anymore, but I was jumping into that, and I was fortunate enough to get him. Yes, I only got the 5-star version, so I have to ascend him, but the fact that I got him, that makes me happy within itself. I don't care that it's a legendary version. Now, the AP drain, I don't mind that leader skill, minus 20, or 20 AP Sorry for 2 enemies. I don't mind that because you got to think the majority of 6 stars sit at the 76 AP which is slow within itself so it takes them a while to go off and a fair few hits but then if you're further hindering them with minus 20 AP that's just going to make things a whole lot easier especially when attacking and it's going to make your defense team pretty cool as well so I don't mind that active skill either and then he has the 58 AP rush which I am a fan of one of the fastest legendaries going around with Barker Big fan of that. Deals 600 mime damage. Mm, I like that. To a line of enemies. So of course I'm hitting the outside lines. Getting full benefit of that line. And then all teammates get plus 40 crit for two turns. Which is great if you have things like guardian skills and things like that. So we will be ascending him. But for now let's talk about the direction I'm heading when it comes to my six star characters. If we move on down to the bottom here, we can see that I have a few available, a few options available to ascend at the moment. We have Mirabelle, Tyrese, and Negan. Now, I will be ascending my Mirabelle, but first, I'm actually concentrating on my melee team, so I'm trying to get that out. As you can see, I have a Shiva, I have this Negan, and I'm looking to get my melee team really strong, and definitely, I'm going to be using Strongs. Talked about Strongs, I will be using my Greens to start with. It will really beef up my 5 stars as well with that leader skill, so Greens is going to be the way for me at the moment. But when I do move to the range team and I'm looking at beefing up and creating a 6 star range team, this girl will be my leader skill unless something better comes in. Meanwhile, while I'm doing my melee characters, she will be the leader skill I go for. All range teammates get plus 40% attack and 40% HP. That's what I want in my life for my range. So that's why I will be ascending her. She has, of course, recover stun and also has that counter attack there with the 70. Set, yeah, 76 AP. I thought I was stuffing it up then. 250 damage and some stun in that one as well. Now, if we talk about range, we'll keep on track with the range here. We'll go down to Tyrese. Now, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this guy. I think 85 AP is just way too slow. Yeah, against 5 stars, it may hold up because he just it just takes so much hits to kill the 6 stars. But against 6 stars, this guy is absolute jelly. My legendary Shiva just mauls him every damn time. And he never has time to go off at 85 AP. So the fact that he does such a huge damage rate to a line of enemies, against 6 stars, I've rarely seen him go off. So I'm not a big fan of that. Though I do like the Decapitate Specialist skills. It really does hinder you as especially if you rely so much on your revives, that does hinder you. Impair, not a bad active rush, not the best. You know, your players can still hit, but at least they can't rush, I guess. But like I said, not a huge fan of him, but I guess in the end, if I really do need some, I don't know, I really don't want to put him in my range skill, but I have him available, so, you know, it's not completely off the table, him. And then, you know, definitely I wouldn't mind a few of these other ranged characters to go in. I will get that Dwight, and I probably won't, yeah, I am probably won't ascend him. In my, if I'm completely honest, I probably won't ascend him. And oh, what have we got now? Negan. We have this yellow Negan. Now, if I want to ascend this guy, which I'm looking at ascending him, I don't mind him at all. I will have to ascend someone like a Carl to get that universal leader skill for melees so I can run both fast and also greens. I can't really use him under Negan. Well, I can use him under Negan, but to me it just seems really stupid to be using a yellow under a green leader skill. It'll just... I'd rather use a green, a really strong green 5 star epic than use a 6 star just for the sake of using a 6 star. So I'll definitely need a more universal leader skill like Kyle's if I want to 
run a mixture of melee characters in regards to yellows and greens. But I don't mind him mainly for his invasion specialist skill. You can pound a crap load of hits into him and he'll just keep standing and he'll minimize the attack depending on the AP he has available. I don't mind that at all. He also has Taunt, which really pretty much puts two enemies out of the way for that one turn. So I don't mind him. He's not the best character by any means. But in that regards, I wouldn't mind running a green and yellow mixture. So he's definitely on the cards there. This guy, Ezekiel, I currently haven't tiered forward him. And the reason is I probably won't ascend him. I absolutely love the specialist skill in Guardian. It's really annoying. But in saying that, I don't think it's deadly and I'm looking more for deadly rather than annoying so he's not really on the table at the moment but I do have him available as an option. Would love a second Shiva. I think she's beast mode legendary. I'd love a second one of her. Oh, if I could run drills, <laughs> drill, dual Sievers, it would be amazing. So we'll keep going up here. Would love this guy Barker. I think he's one of the better yellows running around in the legendary range. Would absolutely love him. Like I said, I would love to run a mixture of green and yellows. Definitely heading more towards the melee category at the moment rather than the range. When I looked more towards the range, I will discuss some of these range characters a bit more. But nonetheless, I'm starting to jumble my words and talk way too fast, which means the video should probably start coming to an end. So for this one, let's go ahead and ascend this six-star Negan, shall we? Yeah, let's, let's create Negan. Let's create this big beast. Okay, before we get things under the way, I shall warn you that there will be no epics that will be consumed by Negan here other than Benedict. Once again, I will be using eight of him. The reason being why I'm not using my epic characters at the moment is because I don't have to. I'm not forced to. So I'm leaving my options open for later on when I want to make more six stars that I've got my full roster of epics available. And I've got plenty of cruddy epics like Ezekiel, Caroline, Krista, plenty of dupes that I can get rid of. But for now, I'm not forced to use them, so I'm not going to. So we'll go ahead and select up our Benedicts. Now you will see quite a few new players to the roster. It's been a while since I did a roster review so you'll see quite quite a lot of new epics to the roster that you probably haven't seen previously. We will do, we'll have to do an updated roster review of some of these five stars. But we'll make our way down to Benedict in a slowish fashion so you can sort of see some of the new characters. And we'll select all eight of him here. Now is the big time to ascend him. 250,000 medals there, ascendance medals, and then 300 legendaries. Now, I've got plenty of medals, and that's purely because I'm holding off, and I'm sort of being really patient with the six stars that I'm ascending. Like I said, I'm making my way up slowly. Is it hindering me taking on full teams of six stars with only a few six stars? No, I'm still destroying teams um, even with the couple of six stars that I have ascended, so I'm not worried about getting left behind at this stage. But nonetheless, it's always nice to get another legendary to the roster. So let's go ahead. Let's press this big yellow button, shall we? <gasps> We're putting it off. We're putting it off. Let's do it. Here we go. Loading information. Can you load faster? Thank you. Now, whoa, it's beautiful. Oh, there we go. Woo! Negan! A new threat, six-star Negan. So amazing. So awesome. He's going to be an awesome leader for my team. It's actually... I'm so I'm speechless about this. I absolutely love this guy. Just the prospects I have in this guy and his leader skills is amazing. But as always, I hope you did enjoy. I wish you all the back with your leg all the back. I wish you all the luck with your legendary ascensions and hopefully you got some good ones. Please do let me know and goodbye. Days are light when the world is getting darker. I have a dream where love's the only side. So take my hand, join the army of the shadows